What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and I hope you're all having an excellent day. I got something cool to show you. You wanna see it? Yeah. So even though I have a gear list online, or multiple gear lists for that matter, I still get asked many times a week, whether it's in video comments or live stream chat, what kind of bass drum pedals do I use? Well, uh, let me go get them. Wee -wee -wee. Okay, so these are the Axis A-Series Longboards. And if you can't tell, I have had these pedals for probably about 10 years now, maybe a little more, and, uh, you know, they're getting uh, a little rusty in some areas. But I absolutely love these pedals. I've never had a single issue with them, you know, just besides the fact that they're 10 years old. It's got longboards, direct drive, variable lever, and an onboard trigger. Like, what more could I ask for? Besides new pedals? <laughs> what happened? How'd this get here? <laughs> Should we open it? I'm kind of scared. I don't know what's inside. Actually, you know what? Before we continue here, you guys, I did want to say something. As most of you guys know, this YouTube channel and drumming is what I do for a living now. I try to keep as busy as I possibly can every week just to make sure that I can keep paying the bills and keep doing this. So hopefully I'll never have to go back to the insurance job. It's a little scary sometimes, you know, there's a lot of variables and factors that go into how much I get paid doing what I do. So there's some weeks where I barely get by. So it really, really helps when I can sometimes get a sponsor for my YouTube videos. But I want you guys to know that I don't just work with any sponsor. It's gotta be something that, you know, I can get behind and enjoy. Not just, oh, check out this lighter because I'm getting paid to show it to you. If you guys actually follow me and watch my live streams and my gaming live streams, you'd know that I'm actually a huge fan of a game called Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is one of my favorite RPGs and it will take you to a world of dark fantasy and realism. I've been playing RPGs since I was a little kid. So I'd like to think that I know a good one when I see one and it did not take me long to get hooked on this game. There's so many characters to collect and you can have a lot of fun leveling them up, taking them to different dungeon battles and then trying different weapon sets on them. The first thing you should do though is go through the campaign levels and enjoy the fully voiced story while you're playing. Here at the portal is where you can use your shards to summon characters. I got oh them. my! And then once you level them up in the campaign battles, you can take them here to the tavern, and then that's where you upgrade their rank and make them even more powerful. One of my favorite things to do is go into the arena and destroy some other players. There's also the dungeons where you can fight against 10 unique different bosses and win more weapons that make your team stacked. You can also team up with your friends and battle the clan boss to get some really nice extra loot. Another thing I really love about Raid is that you can play it on your mobile device or on a computer, which is great for me because that's how I do my live streams. But perhaps the best best part is the all new Battle Pass. Season 1 is live and now you can get a ton of awesome extra rewards with the new daily and weekly challenges, including new epic champions and the legendary Wurlam Frost King. Use the link in my description to download the game and if you're a new player you will get 100,000 silver and a free champion, Hexweaver. She's a very good character and she will pair nicely with Kyle who's another free character you can get right at the start. These rewards will be waiting for you right up here in the inbox when you log in and you'll have 30 days to get them. You can find me in the game under the name 66Samus, and if you'd like to join my clan, hop into my Discord server to get the info. And as always, good luck, happy gaming, and I'll see you guys in there. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. Shall we see what is inside the box? This is so exciting, Jungle. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so these are the Axis A21 laser pedals. I can't tell you guys how happy I am right now. Oh my bunker. Look how big this footboard is. <laughs> Love the black, oh yeah. So there's definitely a couple of things that are different on these laser pedals than on the A's that I'm used to using. First of all, of course, being this footboard. Like this is just ridiculously big. You can probably use whatever technique you want on these things. <laughs> Axis came out with these footboards because over the years they were getting a lot of requests from people asking for a righty pedal and a lefty pedal. On the A series, the toe piece is connected more, I guess on the right side of the footboard. So technically, you know, you could say that this is a righty pedal. So instead of coming out with both lefty and righty pedals, they said screw it, we'll meet in the middle, just make a completely symmetrical footboard. And that's how these were born, a bahi. And as you can see compared to the A's, the room that they added is just insane. <laughs> just insane and I can't complain! Next we will discuss the 21 here. You guys are probably like, what the hell does 21 mean and why is it not 22? So the 21 means a 21 degree angle and I guess I'll show you the, uh, the A's first just so you can see the difference. Okay, so see how this piece that's shaped like a number one is just totally flat? I guess you can see better from the side. It's totally flat. 
But on the laser pedals, this piece is angled 21 degrees forward. You can see better from the side that the beater is not perfectly perpendicular to the number one piece. And what's the reasoning for this, you might ask? More power! With the A-series pedals, you go really fast when you have the most amount of power, and that's sort of the anomaly to where players can go that fast with these pedals. Some guys wanted even more power, so then Axis developed the Sonic Hammer Beaters, which really pack a nice punch. But they also realized that not everyone would like the Sonic Hammer Beaters, since they're pretty big. So how can we recreate that same angle with a standard beater and still get that power? So they went ahead and added that angle to the number one piece. And they angled it just right. So now with the standard beater, it hits the drum exactly when you have the most amount of power on the downstroke. They actually did some research with this and tested several variations and turns out 21 degrees is exactly where you get the most amount of power on the stroke. How about that? Apparently a lot of older blues drummers use these pedals too, just cause it's really easy and you don't have to waste much effort fighting the springs to get a lot of power. All right, so next we will talk about the spring assembly here cause that's different too. This is the Microtune spring assembly and it is much more accurate than the standard ones. First of all, it's really nice now that you can adjust the spring tension just from the front of the pedal here you don't have to get on your hands and knees anymore. Just use a drum key. Left is loose, right is tight, and it's as easy as that. And it's really smooth. Oh, yeah. And these are so much more accurate because you have to do two and a half more revolutions just to get the same amount of spring tension difference as you would with just one turn from a standard spring assembly. So now you can get those little areas in between if you're having trouble getting that exact spring tension you want. It's fucking awesome. I mean, it's great. And lastly, there are new heel blocks on these pedals, so let's talk about those. Here's one right here, actually. Yeah. Okay, so these new heel blocks now have rollerball bearings in them. Axis was unfortunately never able to do this before because another stupid company had a patent on it. <sighs> Legal issues. And on the ends, the center of the bearing is isolated from the outer ring. That makes the action incredibly smooth and there's also no more side-to-side -side play. But these make a huge difference in the performance of the pedal. Smooth bonk. They wish they could have done this a long time ago, obviously, but at least now they can do it. And if you're wondering, how the hell do I know all this stuff, I actually had the pleasure of speaking with Chuck, the head honcho over at Axis, on the phone yesterday. And actually, he wanted me to ask you guys a very important question. So they were thinking of making the super wide laser footboard available on their standard A pedals, but they just weren't sure how much interest there would be for that. What do you guys think? For those of you out there who use the A series or have always wanted to try the A series, would you like a big symmetrical footboard on those like these? Let us know what you think in the comments below. I personally think it's a great idea. I would definitely try it out. I'm always looking to try different things that could possibly help me do my job just a little bit easier. They're actually doing quite a bit of restructuring over at Axis. They just hired a new machinist and he's a really, really smart dude. I've talked to him and there's gonna be some really, really sick things coming from over there pretty soon. Chuck told me yesterday, he said, Samus, I've been making pedals for 22 years and I've never been more excited than I am right now. And that right there got me really excited. But they wanted me to let you guys know that they're working as hard as they can on as much as they can. They're constantly working to upgrade to make their pedals smoother, faster, better, more reliable, easier to use. They're also working on redoing their website soon. They're getting more into social media, artist relations, better customer service. It's great! All right, so let's show you guys how these lasers cut. Okay, so first things first, I should try to get them set up to like pretty much as close as possible to my A pedals. Because if I'm going to start playing new pedals here, we need to make the transition as smooth and as seamless as possible or else I'm going to play like poo-poo. That's also why I got the same beaters that are on these two as on the A's, because normally they come with ones that are a little bit fatter. So if you're watching this video the day that I upload it, I most likely won't even use these lasers tonight or on my live streams until I'm really, really comfortable with them. You can't just start using new gear and then expect yourself to be amazing on it right away, especially if there's something different about it. You gotta get used to it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Try to get the beater angles close. The beater height is also pretty important too, you guys. Actually, pretty soon, hopefully in the next few weeks, I'm gonna put together a video going over all the bass drum pedal settings explained, cause uh, after doing many online drum lessons, I was pretty surprised uh, how many of you guys were confused about changing settings on your bass drum pedals. There was one guy who even showed me his pedals and I'm like, dude, you have the spring attached to the wrong fucking piece. No wonder your pedals are so loose. <laughs> so yeah, expect a uh, video tutorial like that pretty soon. Okay. Put them right against the couch, actually. Do you want to have some cut? Boing! Let's check them out. Oh, yeah. Feels pretty good. Can we do some doubles? Oh, yeah. 
I like a you. So I think I still have a bunch of tweaking to do with some of the settings, but overall I'm really happy with how these pedals play. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get used to them, and if all goes well, you will soon be seeing me using these live and in my future videos, and sex with Al. Well, that's gonna do it for this week's video, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to hit that subscribe button for more weekly content. Cause this concludes our broadcast day.